Hey everybody, it's Jared here at Big Pine Sports. I am up Dry Creek. You guys have seen me come up here a lot, especially when a new machine just launches. I am actually up here with one of my good customers who kidnapped me from Big Pine today. I'm probably gonna get fired when I get back, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for customer relations, right? So, what is Keith in? You've actually seen him on video before. Let me switch it around. All right, we are up here with the Segway Billin. Keith, you've owned a ton of side-by-sides. You're the first villain owner, as far as I know, in Utah. And what's some thoughts so far? We're up here in some nasty boulder fields. Yes, we're just sitting right here, but a lot of the trail system is very rocky, very bouldery. How did it do? Well, this is a 2024 Segway Villain. It is one of the best I've had, and I've had about one of everything. I put 33-inch tires on it. I built this rack. I built my custom windshield, and I did quite a lot of extras to it. It's tight. It does a good job. It's a good machine. So you knew when you bought the villain from us, we were the first Segway dealer in Utah. Uh, you had a good part in helping us get that done. You knew there wouldn't be a lot of accessories out there. So give us a little sneak peek on your creativity and what you built for the machine. Okay, first, I watched a lot of videos on this on YouTube. Everything looked positive to me. And, and I built this rear piece in here built cargo rack and I built mirrors and this handholds windshield put lights on these are air wings I used to build and sell these build all this stuff yeah, very got, nice got 33s on it it's it's a good machine. It does good. How's it been with the 33s? You haven't done any clutching or anything, have you? Not yet. No. See, it would probably help to do a clutch on it, but it's it's not bad where it's at. It does a good job. I've been really impressed with it as we've got up here today. I've driven it. I've been around it quite a bit, but never in this type of terrain. And it was so fun to watch it spider across these boulder fields. We got up to not quite Skyline Drive. We ran into some areas with some fallen stumps and a passageway that we just couldn't get through with the two of us. So we decided to come and conquer that another day, but wanted to hop on here and spotlight the Segway Villain and Keith's thoughts. Great job, Keith. I love your creativity and getting some accessories done for it. The lower doors, which company were the lower doors? Three star. Three star industrial. Yeah. yeah. Three star. So if you're uh, somebody at three star, be sure and post up and you can see your product on our machines out here in Utah. 435-427-3338. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. Check us out on the web at bigpinesports.com. I think we got to go, Keith. I'm going to get fired. Any last thoughts? You gotta have fun once in a while. <laughs> you gotta have fun once in a while. These lower doors that I put on, I can see through them and I can see rocks, and that helps quite a lot. Nice. I quite like them. Fabulous. All right. Well, we're gonna hit the trail. We're up here again, up Dry Creek. Fun, fun place to come ride. If you ever get a chance to make it to Fairview, Utah, just head north about four or five miles. To get to dry creek you can see the trail down there we have had a blast out here today be sure to like and subscribe to our youtube channel we'll have some riding videos kind of showing you some of the boulder fields that we've been through today have a great day everybody